Welcome to Finding Sacred Spaces. We are on a pilgrimage to discover and share Catholic waypoints in America. Hello, I'm George. And I'm Sue, and today we're visiting the National Shrine of Blessed Francis Xavier Silos and St. Mary's Assumption Church, two more of the six Catholic waypoints we discovered in New Orleans, Louisiana. These two sacred spaces are located in the historic Irish Channel of New Orleans. The church is located on Josephine Street, with the shrine being located at the back of the church building. There is usually free parking along the streets surrounding the shrine area. We easily found these sacred spaces on our smartphone map app. The National Shrine of Blessed Francis Xavier Silas was established by the Redemptorist Fathers and Brothers in 1959 to promote the canonization cause of Silas through vital ministry carried on in his name. The Shrine Campus includes the National Shrine of Blessed Francis Xavier Silos, the Blessed Silos Welcome Center, and the St. Mary's Assumption Church in which Blessed Francis Silos served. The Shrine is comprised of a museum in the outer area of the Shrine and the reliquary of Father Silos in the Inner Shrine. The museum area features the original lead coffin, artifacts, and relics of Father Silos's life as well as first-class relics of various saints. The inner shrine features the final resting place of Blessed Silos' remains. A statue of Mary, Mother of Sorrows, stands solemnly over Blessed Silos' remains. The statue was placed there at his request that upon his death he be buried beneath her gaze. The Welcome Center is next door to the church building and includes a small theater, a gift shop, and the Walk of Life biographical tour of Blessed Father Silos. On December 22, 1844, Father Silos was ordained a priest in the Redemptorist Church of St. James in Baltimore, Maryland. After being ordained into the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer, also known as Redemptorists, he worked for nine years in the parish of St. Philomena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, first as assistant pastor with St. John Neumann, later as superior himself, and for the last three years as pastor. During his years in Annapolis, Father Silos met with President Abraham Lincoln in Washington to urge him to excuse his seminarian students from military service during the Civil War. They were not officially excused, but were never drafted. In 
In 1854, Father Silas was transferred from Pittsburgh to Baltimore, then to Cumberland in 1857, and to Annapolis in 1862, all the while engaged in parish ministry and serving in the formation of future Redemptorists as Prefect of Students. From 1863 until 1866, he dedicated himself to the life of an itinerant missionary, preaching in English and German throughout the East Coast and Midwestern states. At war's end, Father Silos was sent here to St. Mary's Assumption Church. The faithful of New Orleans were quick to embrace his selfless dedication and joyful presence. Bless you, Father. Thank you for those words. Thank you, Father. Bless me, Father. His long hours in the confessional offered Christ's redemption to those overly burdened. A contemporary of Father Silo said, One has only to look at him to know he is a saint. I'm here to serve you in whatever way I can. In 1866, Father Silas was assigned to the Redemptorist community in New Orleans, serving as pastor of St. Mary's Assumption Church. St. Mary's Assumption Church was completed in 1860 and was originally built by and for the German immigrants settling in New Orleans. Twice restored from the brink of hurricane destruction, the church is now listed on the Federal Registry of Landmarks and serves as the Church of St. Alphonsus Parish. In the month of September, a brief but fruitful year after arriving in New Orleans, Father Silas contracted the dreaded yellow fever disease. After several weeks of patiently enduring his illness, he passed on to eternal life on October 4, 1867. His Holiness, Pope John Paul II, declared Father Silos blessed in St. Peter's Square on April 9th of the Solemn Jubilee Year 2000. There is one official miracle attributed to his intercession and other cases are currently under investigation. If the Vatican approves a second miracle, Blessed Silos will be proclaimed a saint. His feast day is October 5th. Thank you once again for joining our visitation to this sacred space that honors another saintly priest. God bless and see you at the next sacred space.